people in the world images that bring back memories of surviving the battle. I never thought I would see that again. It was just like I was there. I was in those little bit boats picking them out of the water. I had the privilege of seeing that film tonight, but I am saddened by it because what happened on that beach. It was 20 when that happened. But I think it brought back, I could see my old friends again, and, and a lot of them died later in the war. I went on convoys after that in the North Atlantic, and I lost so many of my but I, I cried because never the end, it will happen. We are, as a human species, we are so intelligent with these astonishing things. We can fly to the moon, but we still do stupid things. Carol and Curry powerful, powerful stuff. What's going on, everyone? My name is Cynic, and a little bit of a weird video, I know, since normally I don't post anything that's not gaming related, but I saw this video yesterday. When I saw it yesterday, it was number one that was trending on YouTube. As of now, I believe it's number four. But the whole point of this video was the news was documenting the reaction of a World War II vet who got the privilege to see Dunkirk. And this movie is based off of the World War II battle, the Battle of Dunkirk, which is kind of funny that it's called the Battle of Dunkirk since it wasn't really much of a battle. It was more like a makeshift massive evacuation where England was trying to pull any allied troops out of Europe that they can and basically send them back to England. Meanwhile, the German army or air force was strafing everyone on the beaches and in the water as well as bombing as many ships as they can. But I thought this would be a good video to share with all of you because it's very eye-opening. And it reminds you that war is a real thing and we tend to forget that soldiers are just regular people too. Yes, they may be trained to be able to survive, adapt, and ultimately kill if need be, but there's only so much that a person can take. And not just that, they're the ones that are directly affected and see firsthand what's going on as well as what the true nature and true scope is of what's happening behind I guess you can call it the curtain that not everybody gets to peek behind. And it's crazy because I personally have a lot of feelings invested in this entire video. I grew up around a lot of veterans. I was, I'm very close to my grandfather who's a Vietnam War vet. Uh, before he passed away, I was very close to my great grandfather who was a World War II vet. And listening to them tell stories is crazy. Like take Ken Sturdy here, for example. He's very soft spoken. That's because, you know, he's kind of hit that older age. So since he's so soft-spoken, at first it's a little harder to hear him and you kind of have to pay attention or really listen harder. But the thing is, even though that they're soft-spoken and sometimes you can't really understand them, just looking into their eyes, you can pretty much imagine what exactly it is they're trying to portray to you. So even if their descriptive skills aren't really there or you can't really understand what it is they're trying to say, you can still imagine the amount of pain and fear that's going through their minds. While they're trying to retell you the story, they're in a sense reliving what happened that they're trying to tell you. And I've always lived by a certain phrase, which is one person's entertainment is another person's hell. And I think that applies for everything, even in this sense. Like, even if you take a certain form of comedy it's in one way or another always at someone else's expense whether if that be through the form of humiliation a quick joke of someone's style of dress their clothing the fact that they're a loner whatever it is as long as it's at their expense and you're getting some form of entertainment out of it now obviously you're not putting people through hell but to them it may be hell because that's something they don't like or is afraid of going through but anyways my question to you guys is, do you think it's a good idea to have historically accurate video games, books, movies, anything to increase the level of immersion and understanding of what went on historically and what's going on now? Uh, for the sake of making th something a little more relevant, we have Call of Duty World War II coming out this year, and one of the biggest things is historical accuracy. Another couple things that are being talked about is blood, gore, anything really to increase the level of immersion. And that's what I've been all about. You know, I think I've been the most vocal about having World War II being the bloodiest, goriest, most gruesome World War II game out in the market because I've always been for historical accuracy and helping reach another generation of people to better understand exactly what went on as well as better understand the horrors of war and how it really affects the people that witness it firsthand. And as Ken Sturdy said, which is the World War II vet, he cried after seeing the movie of Dunkirk because it reminded him that it's never really the end. 
that there's a stupid tendency inside humanity to do stupid things and it's true it's unfortunately sad that we do have dumbass impulses inside of us but anyways that's was my whole point of today's video i just kind of wanted to share this with you and kind of talk a little bit about it give my backing why i'm so adamant about historical accuracy inside of movies and video games because i believe that we learn from the past and the main ways that people learn really at least nowadays really isn't from books anymore it's more video games and movies so if you can add a little bit of historical accuracy and the ugly side of humanity and warfare and don't glorify it as much then maybe in the future we can avoid some of these bigger tragedies but anyways my name is cynic thank you guys so much for watching and stopping by let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comment section below if you guys want to see the full video there's a link down in the description all i really did was edit out all the news narration and just kept in ken sturdy talking but anyways guys until next time i'll see you with a brand new video she would not happen but i think it brought back i could see my old friends again at the end it will happen we are as a human species we are so intelligent with these astonishing things. We can fly to the moon, but we still do stupid things. Carol and Curry Dickinson.